Green Teens, good afternoon, everyone. How are you? <sighs> I got into the bathroom as soon as I got home. I got a shower. I feel refreshed. I feel clean. <laughs> I uh, had to make a stop before uh, I got home today, so I was like, ah, I'm not going to be streaming. I knew this morning, so I just made the uh, stream start at 5. Uh, I know it was very impromptu, and uh, oh, it's a little bit after 5, actually. But that's okay. I, it is what it is sometimes. Uh, I am looking forward to Friday's stream. We'll be doing uh, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I guess we'll be working towards getting to that second uh, temp, like Dark Temple. Um, we have to go back to see the Lumina, Umos again, so that we can, you know, move on, move forward. Joy-Cons. I keep hoping to find joy con like, Joy-Cons are so so sold out right now, guys. They are hard to find. Um, <clears throat> I've been using the same intro music for a while, and I'm thinking about changing it to something else. I'm just not quite sure what I want to change it to, but uh, I know I'm going to change it to something. I have something in mind that I found on YouTube, and you're allowed to use in other places, just as long as you credit the... Uh, Creator, which is cool. So I think I'm going to get that. Oh. She's going to say something about being Wednesday and how we are halfway through the week and we got to keep working hard. Watch. With her Long Island iced tea. Nope. Did anyone see that talk show yesterday on TV? You know the one. I like watching for the guests, but the hosts are such chatterboxes. They're always rambling on and on and on and on. Oh dear. There I go, prattling on about my personal TV habits. That's actually a new one for Isabel. She's never talked about a talk show before, so I'm glad I haven't seen all the texts yet. What's this about? Hmm. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Why did I have... Okay. I found out that if Red is here, he shows up on the map. So I guess... He'll have a boat there? I don't know. All right. Oh, hello, sir. I see you're waiting for me outside my house, which is always cool. But we got stuff to do, so we can't really hang out and chat for now. I always thought or imagined he had a yellow, like an orange belly, but I guess not. I guess that was something I only imagined. All right. Oh, this is from Lolly. Wait, okay. I was out for a walk on the beach just now when I remembered a funny thing you said once. It made me smile all over again. I thought you should know that, so that's why I sent you this note. Never change. Lolly. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's get out our shovel. You know what? I'm going to use the other shovel because... Uh, it's probably going to be a shorter stream today, depending on how things go, or what we do, or what we accomplish. Um, I just feel like chilling today. I don't really... I can't really say I feel like doing much of anything. Um, it's just that time of year, you know, where like the weather is... Meh, it's not so, so bad. But it's not great, either. Ooh, more Black Cosmos, another purple... I'm going to leave it right there for now. Let's check the beach for our, um, our uh, DIY in a bottle. There it is. Very good. Cool. What's this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Learn. I already know this. I'm going to sell it. I don't think anyone wants a bamboo drum. I don't think anyone's really interested in it, so I'm not going to put it on the... Uh, 
DIY beach. Alright, so there's a money rock by my house. I guess we'll start there just to change things up for the day. Oh, our fruit. We can harvest some fruit today. That'll be good. I, um, I do try to get as many Nook Miles as I can during the week. Because uh, then I use Nookazon on the weekends. To, uh, you know, get the stuff I truly, truly want and desire. <clears throat> I mostly try to get DIYs. That is the best thing about Nookazon. Is that you can get them. Um... So much. I really feel like while I'm happy with my island and I'm not dissatisfied with it. Oh, wait, did I change this? Nope. Let me just fix this real quick. Done. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> oh. I almost always fall. And, like, I want to work on that, but. Like, I really want to make it look like paint is being splattered, like, accidentally, while keeping it somewhat natural looking. I just don't know how how I'd go about achieving that, but I think I will. Okay, put it away. Alright, now. Berry in hole. And here we go. Very good. Maybe next week I'll start a, a new renovation project. Um, maybe make it... Maybe do something with my fruit trees so they're a little more organized. Alright, we already got the money rock. So that's very good. We'll probably do some more fishing today to get that Mahi Mahi. I did see, oh no, I don't want you here. Ah, uh, there. Awesome. That's what I was going for. Okay. Since I see it over there, let's go get the fossil. What butterfly do I see? Ah, hello. Haha. -ha. All right, let's keep going. Let's uh Is it just me or is Gulliver always on one of these beaches and never in the middle one? I wonder who's here today. I hope it's Leaf. Ooh. Another pink. Alright, alright. Let's... Let's go. Ew, a yellow. <laughs> Wait, is that a yellow one? I think my pansies are about the only flower that I don't have a special bed for. Maybe I'll fix that. Hold. Here we go. Now we'll bury the nursery tree. Bam. Okay. Hmm. 
Nope. Oh, you know, oh, wait, is that more orange? I didn't notice that there was any, that there was a purple up there. Okay. Now, what was that thing called? Dang, memory keeps failing me. Right on the tip of my tongue, too. My brain ain't what it used to be either, but maybe we can help. Oh, no. Can you describe what it is that you're trying to think of? This is new. One of them carnival games where you throw something to win a prize. That, that was actually my first thought. Right, yeah, ring toss. Seems obvious now. Thanks for that, kiddo. So why were you trying to remember ring toss? Huh. Oh. I used to run that game on the boardwalk, see? We'd rig it with and chisel the rubes. Good times. I like Cyrano's reaction to that. And now they're walking side by side. Cyrano, you just had a very negative reaction to what he just said. Alright, let's see. Now I got my orange my purple pansies from uh, uh, a tickets island. So I never got any hybrid reds. And I'm not really trying since I already have the purples, I just don't see the point. But... Uh, yeah, we gotta start looking for... okay. So, that just leaves... who? Oh, another blue! Okay, I'm gonna leave that... I don't have any hybrids in here, okay. So, let's go check out Rex. Oh, there... oh! I got a good number of hybrids right now. So, you're not crafting anything. I really wish I could do something about his floor. Um, like, I really just don't like that he has a dirt floor. I know he moved in, or like, the better the score of your island, the better of a house your villagers will have. So, poor Coach and Phoebe are stuck having like their most basic health. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Food for thought. I gotta do something with those. I forgot what I wanted to do, but I gotta do something with those. Ah, what are you making today, Phoebes? What's up, Blaster? Need me for something? What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? A wooden waste bin. Yes, I do. Let's do this. Something new. That's all I want. I just want to get a DIY card that I don't normally have. Why does my hair look so red in the light? Hmm. Let's see what it looks like. How basic. And it is customizable. Hmm. That's not actually what I want to make. Uh, I believe I want a wooden bucket. Do I, wait, do I even have the DIY for a wooden bucket? I know I've seen it. Hmm. There's no way to search, is there? I know what I'll be getting on Lucasan then. I also want to make the uh, raccoon figurine. I kind of want to do the clay, the clay pot for one of my uh, flower areas. Two new interactions. Meh. All right. There's Coach. Alright, now, so we've only found two fossils so far. I can't help but wonder where the rest are. They're probably all hidden up by the trees. 
Which that sucks. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Let's, uh, yeah. Oh wait, who is here today? I didn't notice anyone in the plaza. Oh, there's this. So there's no one in the plaza, so someone must be wandering around somewhere. It'll be either Flick or Chip then. Alright, let's see if we got another purple hyacinth. No, not yet. We just need one more. One more fossil. Where could you be? Did I pick up the... Uh, oh, I did. I did. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's start looking in between the trees. Alright. Oh, there he is. There's Chip. So yeah, I guess we're going to do some fishing today. Oh, but we got to do his fishing challenge before he'll buy fish off of us. But first, before any of that, we got to find our last fossil. Which is probably up here. Let's see. Is it anywhere? Oh, here it is. Voila. All right. Okay. It's interesting that we found him right up here near where I uh, was planning on making this like a water goddess shrine, which I'm debating about making just one block wider, or maybe I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need more things. I need lots of things. I need all of the things. <laughs> all of them. Hmm, that looks interesting. Alright. Alright, we got this done. We planted our tree. Alright, what's what are these two? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can Okay. So you just won't just remind me not to sell, sell the white wind flowers. Okay. Do not sell those. Okay. Today's going to be a good day for money, I think. Yes. Now we're also on a grind for 100k. Because I want to pay off 100,000 bells to my home every day. So... Here we go. Okay. Thank you, Blathers. I'm fine. Oop. Let's get our Nook Miles. And yes, I know. I said I wasn't going to drink soda anymore. And yes, I've already fallen off the wagon. I, I, I am drinking a nice Coke. The Coke Energy, which has guarana in it, actually. It's not bad. <laughs> you, you might think I have no willpower, but I tell you. I just really need, like, I have been 
dragging myself a little bit. And I've been feeling like I can't concentrate lately. It's kind of like I'm in a fog. Or maybe it's just the time of year. Who knows? Hmm. God, I... You know, I have one. You know, and I can make more. But I do like that tiny library. I kind of almost want to make more. But I just don't know where I would put them. Seeing you. Alright. Kids. Give me all your money. There we go. Alright. go. You know, in the direct where they showed the Nook Miles, I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was going to be like a meh kind of thing. Yes, it can. But I guess while she's looking at that, okay. You know what? I'm going to give the magazine to someone else. You know, Annabelle, I really wanted to give you a gift, but since you're too interested in the arcade machine, you know, you're not getting a gift. Alright. I know who I'll give it to. Give it to my other bay. Here we go. What's the latest? This is yours. Yep. Just for you. Uh, da, 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 let's talk. Oh, okay. It, it, I per it's really weird. Like, when I exercise, I really don't sweat that much. And then there will be other times where it's like, ooh. I'm sweating like a hog, even though hogs don't sweat. Hmm. Hmm. That is a weird saying now that I think about it. I think I want to make more of those flower carts and put them around places, too. I think I would like that. Oh. Well, look what it is. Too rich for my blood is what that is. Hmm. I'll pass. I don't need them. I don't need the hot dog outfit either. Sewing downhill? Yep. Let's check this out. Okay. Oh, no, no. A diner apron. Hmm. Hmm. Flashy jacket. Old school jacket. Only black skirt, soccer shorts, because I think I already have. Figure skating. Oh no. Oh well, yes, this is only just a million. Just a million. <sighs> when are you guys going to have the zap suits that are not for women? Because that is what I desire. No, I'm not into the denim life. Nah, I'm not about that. Come on, guys. Give me the stuff I really want. More samurai stuff. Bring it. 
But we're only two months in. Okay. Now, let's see. Do I have... Nope. Okay, we're going to go right ahead. We're going to do whatever challenge Chip has for us. Oh, come on. I just wanted to... Okay. I just wanted to kick in that little hole. Here we go, let's go find him. Ah, our fishing rod, which has been getting a lot of use lately. Okay, we last, ah, there he is. Coming at you, um, well, it's more like standing by you, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, ever since I started doing my Sea Sports Challenge, I've been trending in a huge way. It's so slick, each time someone navigates a challenge, I offer to buy out their fish, I even pay premium. I only offer to buy after a challenge, though. Keep it, keep it interesting. But everyone's aboard. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's the challenge? Okay. We're doing three in a row, and all horse macrolish size or so. Okay. So, you spot a crawfish or frog up there, bring it aboard. And don't go catching. Okay. Okay. So, little fish. Little fish. Little fish. Okay. Like a frog or a crayfish. Okay. Crawfish or crayfish. So, not that size there. We need some little things. Here we go. Will this count? Let's find out. Oh. Hey, hey. Okay. Cool. Let's go out to the ocean where I typically see. Okay. Let's see. Just need a tiny one. Here we go. There we go. Okay, that makes two. And we'll start digging up clams in a little bit. Oh, is that one smaller? I think that one might have been too small. You're definitely not what I'm looking for right now. Too big. Too big. Okay. This seems like it's the right size. Come on. And here we go. A loach. All right. Here we go. And where did you go? Yep. Yep. Ah. Very good. Sold. A 
meager amount of bells, but soon. And you know, when I caught the Ciela Canth yesterday, I really felt that I should have saved. Alright, let's start on the other side of town. Let's start on the other side of town. And we're gonna go and we're gonna collect a lot of clams. We're gonna collect as many as we can get between points A and B. We're gonna collect them. We're gonna be happy about it. Aha, two of them. I never noticed that those were flowers before. Hmm. Alright. Now. That one's awfully far in length. You know, one thing I would like, one thing I would like, is if, like, the water came in up to here, like, if there were tides, and if the water came into here, and you could still put down items, but you would just be, like, splashing around, like, it would be like when you're splashing around the water there, but, like, I think it'd be really cool if you could do that, and, like, maybe in the mornings, up and until like maybe 9 a.m. You could find jellyfish washed up on the shore. You can pick them up with your shovel. I think that would be a really nice aesthetic touch. Like you could turn them into blathers or you could sell them or you can even throw them back into the water if you did so please. I'd really enjoy that. Now let's get a bunch of clams. And then we're gonna do some pure fishing for the mahi mahi, and then we'll try to and we'll sell whatever we catch, the chip for the money, and then that should that should get us to whatever we get, even if it's a bunch of sea bass. That should get us to the 100k, and we'll be set. And then everything else we can just get us ahead for tomorrow or, you know, whichever. Let's see, yeah. Ooh, excuse me. Anything over here? We only got five clams so far. Hmm. Yesterday it seemed like we got a lot in one like one go round. Oh, 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 there you are. So I guess the spawn rate is down a little bit today. Or it's just not spawning in our favor. So. Let's try our luck. Let's craft. There we go. I like that saw that hangs on the side of uh, the workbench. I want that one. Here we go. So what do you think? Should I go around for another uh, stroll or should I uh, just go right into the fishing? I guess we'll collect whatever ones we find between here and the pier. 
And then we'll try to pull up whatever we can, and then we'll, we'll just get some more. That's all. That's all. Oop. Very good. Scatter few. All right. Okay. Come on. Okay, here we go. Now I know I said I was looking for the mahi mahi, but if we're gonna get fish at a premium today, we might as well fish up everything. Here we go. Now the mahi mahi is a sea bass size, so. This is going to be annoying. Oh. Awesome. Woo. Ah, I didn't realize it was actually like like Okay. Come on, come get it. Oh, aggressive little thing. Yeah, it's a horn smack girl. I think I hear a balloon, but I'm not really interested, so... Come on. Come on! Ah, it's a sea bass. Ooh, my stomach is making very unpleasant sounds right now. Alright. Let's let's go do some more clamming. Now, yesterday it was raining, so maybe that put things a little bit more into our favor. We're getting some good catches. Hmm. Vanilla is my favorite flavor of clam. It is truly my favorite flavor. As we make a holy beach. But I guess the next fishing tourney I'm going to have to do if I want to get cool stuff. I heard all the fishing tourneys have the same prizes. So... Because there was a good number of items that I saw that I... Eh, I didn't care about them when I saw them like just as their image. But then when I saw them on people's islands, I thought, oh, I could have had that. Here we 
there we go. That is a lot of clam. So, okay, let's craft. 13 should be good, right? But this is where people say, like, we should be able to craft multiples. And I really get that. Okay, keep crafting. Excitement. <laughs> That's what this part is. Okay. Yeah, this is the pinnacle of excitement. Right here. And here we go. Here we go. No, only big fish. There we go. Because you could be something decent. You could be something decent. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. Here we go. You know, I feel you're going to be a zebra fish. Come on. You defy me, squid. Ooh, okay. Come on. Here we go. I don't like you, sea bass. Okay. Uh, oh. We didn't scare away the fish. We got something worth a thousand bells. Ah. Huh. Okay. I just have to be patient. I can't be excited. You know, like, I have to keep in mind. Like, yes, I'm being watched. I have to put that out of my mind. But those fish that just tap at multiple. Ooh. 
multiple times, they are truly doing the devil's work. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, well, I guess that's okay. I mean, I don't know how much it's worth, but it's better than a sea bass. Alright. Come on. Come on. Oh! I suck. That's all that that comes down to. I suck. I need to do some river fishing. I just need to look up what's in the river and go from there. I really wish I could put like a bridge across a valley. Find my fish. Yes, yeah, a whole school sold. Awesome. Okay, we are going to take a slight break from the fishing to do some clamming, but we're going to go and we're going to get, uh, we're going to summon Chester again. Perhaps he'll come up with something good for us today. Or perhaps not. He is who I... He was just on top of my amiibo card, so that's why there was no premeditated reason for su summoning him. Hmm. <sighs> Alright. Okay. So, A ABD. Yes, okay. Loan payment. Pay from pockets. Okay. Let's just see. Hmm. That looks nice, but the but the binoculars are flat. Eh. Okay. Here we go. Yes. Look at his belly. Hmm. I think I'm gonna make two clay pots for the flower air for my like flower workshop. I'm not sure. I'm really con torn about doing that. Oh, I wonder if they're customizable. Are they? Let's see. Are they customizable? All right. They are. Hmm. May have to dig into the clay reserves in a little bit. So first we'll check on Chester, we'll see, you know, what he's up to, what he wants us to make for him, and if it's anything worth our while. I'm debating on actually inviting him to, the t to town. Really have you invited me, rookie? Okay. Oh. Okay. I maybe want to see a garden rock made by the folks here. Let's make it happen. Okay. Hmm. 
Maybe I will, maybe I won't. It's not a matter of do I want that or not, it's a matter of the fact that I already have it. And that's not why I summoned you. You did not do as you were supposed to do. Let's see what we can find. Where are we going? Okay, there's usually some down here, but not this time. Anything? Oops, I am fit. This is for fishing, but there we go. My favorite flavor of clam. I prefer the white clam chowder, the New England, over the Manhattan because, let's face it, the red is just gross. I can't even. Ugh. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Now, I'm just going to drop that. Drop item. Hmm. What are you thinking about? Hey, I was up in my attic the other day, and I thought of you when I found my explorer's hat. I got no need for such things, so got extra room at your place? Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the explorer's hat. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I am in full chill mood. I I keep falling asleep. Like when I'm done stream and I go over to my uh, couch, it's just done. I'm just done. I don't really get anything else done at all. All right, what's this? Oversized print press? Oh my. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. He's working out on the beach. Good for him. Here we go. This seems to be the it side of the island for clams. I wonder if that's a thing.
no. Hmm. For some reason, my controller, like, vibe. You know what would be a really cool feature? Like, even if it was just a one-time thing for a one-time event, but even if it lasted a couple of days, that would still be pretty cool. If, like, Chip, who would be CJ's dad or granddad, I'm not quite sure. If he'd, uh, if he came back for a one-time event, like, maybe once a year, and you had a metal detector, and you had to find things on the beach. And, like, you just turned in, like, the sc metal scraps or whatever that you find. Like, typical things you might lose on the beach, like watches, coins, whatever. And at the end of the day, whoever accumulated the highest amount got a special prize. I'm not sure, like, what the prizes would be, but I think it'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be neat. Like, the key would be to, like, zero in. Oh, no, that was for my feet. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, I somehow got a Nook Miles thing. I forgot. Oh no, I'm not catching a mole cricket. F that. And F you. Oh, oh, I did not mean to say it like that. <laughs> I did not mean to say it like that. But the wharf roaches, they just get the big F. Okay. I did not mean to say that. I'm going to. That's going to be a YouTube strike. That's going to be a YouTube strike. Okay, whatever. I did not mean to say it like that. I am sorry. I apologize. I got a little too into chill mood. Okay. I got a little too into chill mood. Make as many clams as possible, and we'll get that mahi mahi yet. I think I, I'll make one pot and see how I like it sitting here. And we'll look up what the customization options are for. I think I'll do that after this round of fishing, just to break up the monotony just a little bit. Here we go. Alright. I'm going to pass on whatever clams we see just because, you know, we're going to do other, just some other stuff after the fact. So we're just going to do this to avoid seeing them. I think I'm going to transplant the yellows from here and put them elsewhere and then just get rid of the yellows that are from the uh that that are seed yellows and not hybrid yellows so you got 14 tries
I don't like that there was a delay on that. What is this? Oh, fiend. Look at that butterfly just flying off far out over the water. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I can't deal with those fish that can't decide if they want the, uh, if they want the food or not. I can't deal with them. Okay. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Really, sea bass? I should have hit A too soon. That's what I should have done, because that was annoying. All that anticipation. And it was a sea bass. Okay. Oh. Here we go. I see the balloon. It looks like it's green. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh sucks. So I guess we're gonna go and cash in to get a new uh, fishing rod. It's coming. Slowly but surely, there is our green balloon, which means it's furniture. Which I feel like I haven't seen one in so long. Like, they're usually red or yellow for me. Usually blue. Green seems to be the rare one. Ooh. Alright, let's see what I got. A Mr. Flamingo. Hmm. Let's see. Yes. Anything? No. Okay. Let's finish up. Oh, look at this. I mean, I'm not going to get that lucky, right? One. Oh! No, yes. Okay, a giant Trevally. Okay, we got something that we actually... Show it off. There we go. Okay. Let's go back to Blather so I don't forget. 
Alright, we can give this to Blathers. We had some success today. <laughs> we can we can we can end stream tonight knowing we succeeded in something. And not one but both of our goals. Oh, look who's awake. Make make a donation. Here we go. Uh, no, I'm a bit busy. Thanks. Alright. Nope, I am A-OK. -okay. Let's go get some more fish. Let's return to the pier. Ooh. Now, I've mentioned a few times that I have Streamlabs, and I feel like maybe that's what I should be using. I think over the weekend, and I've said this before, so who knows if I'll do it or not, I want to do like just a test stream to see what works and what doesn't. Come on. Come on, uh, it's you. Come on. If you're not, come on. How are you doing today? Calamari. I, I think I've had that, and I'm not too fond of it. I think uh, I had it in a in an Asian buffet, so that's really not the best place to be trying things. But uh, I found it to be a little bit rubbery. I wasn't too fond of it. How are things going with you? What's going on in your town today? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Ooh. That one was quick. Oh, but you're a sea bass. Why? Okay. Oh. Ah, uh, come on. I feel like I hear a balloon. All right. <gasps> Finally. Yes. I caught a mahi mahi. It's all miney miney. <laughs> okay. Finally, we got it. Hmm. Exhaust is still on antibiotics from the shot stay in the hospital and short stay in the hospital and I had to do the grocery shopping online. Wait, do the grocery shop because I'm the only one in the house that can or will. Oh no. How did you fare with the grocery shopping? Um, the grocery shopping for me, in my area, is very hit or miss. And I've noticed that, like, nothing has really gone down in price. If anything, things seem more expensive. 
Um, I used to be able to get, like, either chicken breast, drumsticks, or wing. Well, the wings, not so much. I would buy, but... I mean, I do like wings sometimes, but, 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 but for like $1.99 a pound, and they have yet to be under $2.99, and that makes a big difference, trust me, for the amount of chicken that I eat. Make a donation. Yes. Confirm. Whew! This is undoubtedly a mahi-mahi. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your mahi-mahi? Yes, please, because I spent two days trying to get this thing. Maybe three, I'm not sure. I've forgotten. Not too bad, but nothing paper products-wise. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're not going to get nothing paper products-wise. Um, like, even getting baby wipes is kind of, you know, hit or miss. The Mahi Mahi is an ocean fish known for its wide, somewhat cute face. It can reach over six feet long. It is known by different names, including dolphin fish, even though it has no relation to dolphins. They live only in warm tropical waters, which perhaps explains the relaxed, happy look on their faces. And there you have it, fascinating stuff. Yeah, meat prices aren't going to get better for quite a while. Which is interesting, because I actually saw an article. Oh, Mahi Mahi? I've never had it. Um, we never ate much seafood in my house growing up, so I don't really, you know, enjoy much seafood. I, the only seafood I really like, uh, sometimes I can go for crab cakes. Sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. And, uh, shrimp. That's about it. Like, any other form of seafood, that was kind of like such a rare occasion. Granted. Granted. I do eat a good portion, a good amount of sushi. There's a lot of different rolls that I like. I like a rainbow roll, a California roll, which are the same thing, but the rainbow roll has extra fish in it. Um, I do like a salmon roll. Let's see. Shrimp tempura, but I already said shrimp. Oh my god, okay. I've had a green dragon roll, which the main thing there is avocado, actually. Um, oh. Me so that yellowtail... Salmon. Oh no, it's been so long without that I've been without sushi that I don't remember everything that I enjoy. Oh no. But there's a couple of hot ones that I enjoy. Um, oh wait, this, there's a white ocean fish one that, that I can't, the ocean roll, which I can't remember what that was. Then there's a cream cheese, like there's this one called the Boston roll, which they actually deep fry it. It's amazing. When that war, like with the rice and whatever fish they use in there, I think it's a salmon. Maybe it's yellowtail. I'm not sure. Or tuna. But it's a very salty fish. But when that salty and the cream hit your tongue and your palate, it's amazing. I didn't try it at first because it was always being called dolphin fish, which Blathers mentioned. And that made me not want to eat it, knowing it's not related to dolphins. Let me try it. I have a shorter list of what sushi I won't eat than I will. Um, I'm not too crazy for lobster, so therefore, like, if it has lobster in it, I don't really go for it, and, like, I went to get sushi with two friends, and, well, three friends, and it was, it was sort of, we could call it a double date situation, even though that's not what it was, but it was two boys, two girls, and the one girl, and she was, like, in her, like, she was almost 40 at the time, so she's probably in her 40s now, had never really had Chinese food before, which, that's really weird to think about. Um, buy my fish. Buy all the fish. Uh, look at all the sea bass, that's gonna bring down the total. Cool. Um, the Sakura roll I like, but it doesn't really do it for me. And then there's, oh yeah, we're going to do some fruit today too. Time to harvest the fruit. Um, let's 
So wait, what did I pick up? Okay. Um, the volcano roll, I think I mentioned. There's another roll that my favorite sushi place has that I really wanted to try. Cause, but it, it was usually like mango, pineapple, and like another fish that I'm not sure what it was. It was called an AK-47 roll. And I just thought, no, nah, that doesn't sound... You know, like they had a lot of specialty rolls, but the specialty rolls were like 15 to $16. And I'm not really willing to spend more than, you know, 10 to a roll. Because sushi is expensive. Yeah, they would have it as one of their specials quite often, so I imagine it was one of their more popular entrees. Um, my typical go-to was the rainbow roll, green dragon, and red dragon rolls. Those, that's what I would typically get. Although, sometimes I'd be in the mood for some uh, shrimp tempura. Oh. Keep playing. Um, the volcano roll was another favorite. Like, I could really... Spider rolls? Um, I can't say I've ever tried the spider roll, because I believe that's crab. And I'm not too fond of that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There was another one... I forget what it was called... But I think it was called a Naruto roll, but it didn't have any pork, but it was very swirled. And, like, it had a lot of, like, it looked very twisted. So I think that's why they called it the Naruto roll, and I don't think it had anything to do with, you know, the shonen character. I think they were just actually being Japanese and calling it something with a spiral. Spiral-based name. Um, yeah, there's soft shell crabs. Yeah, I'm not too fond of shellfish. Um, I also like, uh, what is it when they, when it's like a piece of fish on top? It's maki, isn't it? When it's uh, a piece of sh like when it's a piece of uh, shrimp on top of the rice, I'm fond of that too. Um, then I've also been okay with the vegetarian roll, even though it's a vegetarian roll. Who cares? Um, eel, I think I've had. Um, hmm. I don't know. Actually, I read the ingredients, and then I just kind of go from there and go, hmm. God, I could go for some sushi, but it is pricey. It is quite pricey. No, maki is a, no, maki is a roll. The sushi, which is just a fish on top of it, is rice called nigiri. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I also had, um, I know it's not, this is, like, not quite the same thing, but I decided, I went into, I went into, it's called Sumo Sushi, right? It's, like, in the corner of a strip. It's amazing. And... I decided I'm going to get something other than their sushi. Let me try something else that they have. And I saw they have, like, in the one corner. Oh, look, she's wearing the hat that I designed with her maid's outfit. I'll be seeing you. All right. No one to sell. All right. So... Hmm. Awesome. Oh, maybe we'll do some more fishing so we could uh, get a second one th 100k in on uh, my home loan. I think that would be awesome. Hmm. 
might have been additional to cooking shows, especially Good Eats. Might have been addicted to cooking shows, especially Good Eats. Oh, was Good Eats a fishing show? On, um, I guess, Food Network? I did find, sometimes dumpsters, uh, not dumpsters, diners, dive-ins, and drives, I think it's called, that, uh, uh, Fieri? Dumpsters, dive-ins, and drive uh, dumpsters. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. I keep saying dumpsters. Like, what is wrong with me? Um, Guy Fieri uh, hosts it. Yes, Guy Fieri's show that's not the, uh, three chefs competing against each other show. Um, sometimes that show is really interesting. Other times it's kind of like, did these people pay to be on the show so they could get some exposure? Because I don't understand what I'm watching or why. <laughs> um, like... I don't like to put people down. Although, this one episode that I watched, and this was like maybe a year ago, but I saw it. I don't know. I, I watch a lot of Food Network during um, December. Because the cookie shows, the cookie shows are so intense. Like, who can make the best Christmas cookie? It's like, oh my god. Like, and gingerbread houses. Gingerbread house competitions are really intense. Like, their struggles, real. Um, but this one place, apparently on Sundays, they have this smoked fish that they make. But they smoke the fish the day before. So they kind of, like, they had to do it on Saturday. And they had to hope that, I guess, all the fish that they smoke will be um, used. And I thought it was really neat because they showed the whole process of how they go about smoking it. You know, these big smoking machines that they have. And, you know, the whole nine yards. Where am I going? And, um, I don't know. <laughs> like, that one episode I just really enjoyed. Mostly because, like, the people that they interviewed to ask, like, what do you think of, um, oh my god, those are crazy. And the kids be... And the kid baking shows and saying, I cook, but I don't bake. And here's a bunch of kids baking from scratch without recipes at 10 to 12 years old. Well, you know, the kids are doing it, yes, but they had to have learned, like, someone to start. So good for their parents, or maybe the grandparent, for teaching the child how to um, cook something from scratch. Oh, you know what? I do get an award if I make these, but mm, I'm not feeling it. Okay, okay. Clay pot, where are you? Oh, you know what? I, I often feel like, okay, we're just going to make the one clay pot to start. But yeah, the kid bakers, ooh, good for them. Oh, okay, on the one Christmas show, where they had a professional chef and a kid chef be teamed up, right? There was the one kid chef. He had, like, really sleepy-looking eyes, and I just remember that was, like, the main thing about him. And he wasn't... He didn't do very well in any of the rounds that he was involved in. So, the one pro chef, you could tell that she was very proper and prim. And they're so nice to each other for a competition. Well... I mean, it's cooking. I mean, how, how like, backstabby or jerky can they really be? So, this poor woman, you can tell she's very proper and prim and does things a certain way. And this kid got teamed up with her, and you just should have seen the look on her face. She did not want to work with this kid, you know? Like, he goes, okay, we're going to make little tiny cups of food. And she just stand there with her hands behind her back looking at him like, I hate you. <laughs> like, you can just see the look of disgust and defeat on her face, because she felt she wasn't going to, like, you can tell she wasn't going to, felt she wasn't going to, ooh. Hmm. 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 For what I'm doing, 
for what I want to do. This one looks awesome for what I want to do. So we're not going to do that right now. We are going to make another one, though. But I did like the one where they have the three judges, where there's the bald guy, the European girl, and sometimes it's an older woman, and then sometimes it's this red-headed woman that's the pioneer woman, the, that's her own show. I like that one, where they all compete. Bet she either thought the kid couldn't cook, or maybe was afraid the kid would make her look bad. If some of these kids could definitely make some adult cooks look bad. Oh no. So, the kid had to make a cake in the first round, and he botched it. And it seems like that's his thing, because, like, I think he tries too hard. Hmm. Yeah. I think he tries too hard to, um, you know, make something happen. And he just winds up coming out looking like he's his own worst enemy is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. He, um, he can really stand to chill out a little bit. You know. Um, but I did like... Oh, there's plenty of room. I'm just... You can push me backwards, you know. Okay. Then... But the gingerbread competitions? Oh my god. Oh, did I want another barrel? No, I don't want them to be too identical to each other. Okay. That's good. You know what? One of my awards for today is catching a mole cricket. There we go. Hate you, Mole Cricket. Um, then, they had to make cakes for Christmas, but the cakes had to tell a story. And this one guy made a birch tree where he had carved in, made it look like he, like, for him, how him and his wife had carved their names into the tree. And that's what they had done one year for Christmas, when they, like just before they had gotten married. And they had said that there's not like this white birch tree looking cake. While it's very pretty, it doesn't really say Christmas to me. I like the story behind it, but it just doesn't say Christmas. And I thought, hmm, you know, they make a good point. You know, they're not wrong. But, alright, we're going to dig up some more clams. Let's see if we can get that second round of 100k for the startup, so this way we'll be, we'll have a little more going on. Um, but, oh, that reminds me, did I, do I have that? Hmm, no I don't. Because there is a uh, the hybrid version of this wreath, and I kind of want to get that. So I guess I'll get that off of Nookazon, because I deserve it for my door. And the people you were describing were Dolk Goldblum, Lorraine Pascal, and the older woman is usually Nancy Fuller. But I've seen a variety of judges in different... Yeah. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Since we're talking about cooking shows, let me talk about the one that I like the best. It's called The Four Levels Of, and it's by Epicurious on YouTube. I am subscribed to that channel just for those, like, show, like, just for those shows. So they have a level one, a level two, and a level three chef, right? And there's this one older black woman. I, I don't know her name, but whenever she's on there, she's a level two chef. I swear, the dishes she makes to me are always better than the level three. I really think she does such a better job. Like, there was this one where they did, like, four levels of Sundays, right? And she made her own ice cream, as did the level three chef. As did the level three chef. 
But the level three chef, to make a sundae, he decided to make a gelato. That's not a sundae. So the level two chef really won that, but like she put so much love. The level three stuff tends to be too high end or overdone. Yes. Um, and then there is one guy whose name I know. I think his name is Mario. He's very animated. Um, but his stuff is all oftentimes looks very good too. Um, let's see. They had to make omelets, and it was pointed out that the level one and the level two chef made restaurant-style omelets in which they had, like, the bottom side was brown from the pan because it's just left to sit there. And it was funny because the level one chef said, I never actually get to make an omelet. I usually get impatient and just make scrambled eggs. And I swear, that is what I do every morning. I don't even intend to make omelets anymore. I just make scrambled eggs. Like, she spoke to me in that episode. But, like... was I saying? The level three chef, she, she kept moving her stuff around, but the way that she had folded it over many times over, it still looked like an omelet, but it was like an omelet burrito, but without the burrito quality, if that makes any sense. And they were talking about how layered it was and how like when you use a fork, you don't really whisk the eggs properly because the eggs don't really blend as well with the yolk. I just go for frittata style. I don't do good folding omelets. Um, <laughs> I don't even try. <laughs> I don't even try. Um, so you do so much better than me. Um, I, um, what was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She kept holding the stuff over to where it was, like, this nice, like, cylinder almost. And it had different layers for, like, cheese and stuff. And I thought, wow. Like, she didn't, like, it had no browning. And I, I thought that one actually looked pretty good. And they said it was, like, a crepe Suzette. Only it wasn't really a crepe Suzette. And I was like, huh. But they said when you use a whisk, you're adding more air to the recipe. And that makes it, um... And that makes it, like, actually cook better when the air is in there because it helps it, like, like they explain the science of it. But then <clears throat> they actually did scrambled eggs, right? So, you know, they did scrambled eggs. Crutatas are easy, though. Just mix everything together with the eggs and let it cook covered or put it in the oven to finish. Oh! I think I know what that is. Okay, I've had that. I think. I eat food. <laughs> Sleeveless silk dress. No, I don't... Place item. Oh. Is that what Pinky wears? Alright. Where's Annabelle? Annabelle. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll give it to, uh... Maybe I'll give it to Phoebe. I, I feel like I haven't given her a gift in a while. We'll give it to Phoebe. They call them crustless quiche because they're close. Oh, okay. Um... So they had to make scrambled eggs. Level 1 and level 2 actually made them right. Like, the way they should be made. Yes. Oh, that's red on red, but whatever. Oh, I really didn't want anything back. Alright, let's see what she gave me. Um, so, they actually made scrambled eggs the way, like, you wouldn't make scrambled eggs, except for the level 3 chef. She did something weird. She, so she explained that a white egg, right, the white shelled egg, comes from a white hen. But the brown, the brown egg, the cage-free eggs as we all know them, 
just come from red hens, and really there's nothing different about them other than the fact that they come from a red chicken. Hmm. Oh. Is this what this is? Hmm. Huh. Oh, you know what? These might look good in this here. Okay, okay. Um. So what this chef did was, she... She broke the egg in such a way that the egg shell was intact, and then she boiled it to clean it. Then she took, she made a whirlpool of boiling water, and then she drops the egg into the whirlpool and let it cook in the whirlpool. And then it become, and I think she used heavy cream to make it into some sort of like cream. And then she takes it and she fills it back into the egg. And she puts it back into the egg, and then it's like this cream egg, and they kept saying, oh, it's so decadent. She was supposed to make scrambled eggs. I don't know what she made or what she thought she was making. I mean, I don't want to sound judgmental. Like, she was, she, she was clearly from another country, so maybe she didn't get it. But... You know, I kind of felt like, how do you mess up scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs is when you mess up making an omelet. Like, scrambled eggs are messed up to begin with. <laughs> like, like scrambled eggs is a happy little accident meal, because they're still good even though you messed up making your omelet. That's what scrambled eggs are. Like, bravo to the person who passed that off as a legitimate dish, because they are truly the winner in life for winning that argument that way. Um, but I liked when they did the, uh, so they did something with hamburgers, and they had Mario, who's like the Latin chef that's very animated that I mentioned, then they had this older guy that was bald and he had a white goatee, and they were talking about making, like, steaks, and of course the level 3 chef had steak, like, no, not steaks, hamburgers, the level 3 chef had a hamburger that he put into a meat grinder and grinded it down into ground beef so that he can make his own Angus hamburger. And he cooked it on top of an onion, and it just looked so good, right? And he was talking about, like, I mean, you can cook them too long and they get rubbery and dry. The scrambled eggs are not what she made. No, she made something bizarre. He was saying, like, you take the beef patty and you keep flipping it back and forth on your hands until it sticks to your hand. Because the warmth from your hand, like, kind of gets the meat warm, too. So when it sticks, that's how you know when it's ready to cook. And I thought, wow, I would have never thought, like, to do that. I would have just thought, you know, I'm playing with the food a little bit too much. I'll probably sell that clay. I don't need clay. <laughs> I get too much of it anyway. Uh, that chef does some tasty stuff. I like the new stuff they've been doing where the level 1-2 chef and he swap ingredients and recipes. Oh, uh, really? I haven't really seen too many of the newer episodes. Like, the last newer episode I saw was, um... What was it? No, I think the newer episode that I saw was probably the scrambled eggs one. Because so I saw one on like that I put into my watch later list for nachos. There was one for tacos. And there was one for apple pie. Yeah, those were the most recent ones that I've seen but haven't watched. Um... There is this one girl, she's very mousy, and she wears glasses, and she's my hero. She, um, oh. Three levels of chocolate chip cookie, right? The level one chef just had pre-made cookie dough, whatever. Level two chef, she made hers from scratch, but level three chef, Penny. She made, like, she was using sea salt, she was using chocolate discs, so this way it makes veins of chocolate throughout the cookie, and 
She was saying that, um, <laughs> she was saying that, uh, you know, she goes, mm, I make such a good cookie. This would go down nicely with some bourbon. Like, just threw down, like, just down low said some bourbon. And anytime she's been on there, she's like, oh, yes. My husband and I like our bacon with bourbon. Like, she uses a lot of bourbon, apparently. Like. I, I noticed a couple of times she actually, like, has been on there. It seems like, you know, bourbon is her go-to ingredient for a lot of things. Does she have a southern accent? Does Pe No, Penny doesn't have a southern accent. I don't think so. I also enjoyed... i only seen a couple of episodes of it. Uh, oh, you know who I used to like watching... On YouTube, like, as far as cooking shows go, I, I just really like the energy of the show, and I'm going to sound, I don't know what kind of way, I don't know. But there was this one YouTuber, she goes by Divas Can Cook, and I liked a lot of her recipes. Because um, I was looking up how to make apple pie, and she was using Granny Smith apples. And just, she's very polite, she's very energetic. Um, she also had an episode about, uh, candied apples on how to make them. I think she had an episode for candied yams, too, that I watched. Um, but no, Penny is very, um, I'd probably say she's from, I wouldn't be surprised if she was from either Boston or New York. Not originally, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's where she mostly works. But her stuff is like you can you can understand why she's top tier, but like she doesn't make anything that's too, you know, scrambled scrambled eggs cream inside of the shell. <laughs> she doesn't do weird stuff like that. Um Out there? Yeah, out there is what some of these weird chefs make. All done for now. What's this? What did I do? Oh. Oh, I blew that out of the water, didn't I? Haha, <laughs> catch by fish. Okay. But I hear a balloon. Or I thought I did. Maybe I'm wrong? We'll know in a minute. Okay. Alright. I must very anally put everything into a good spot. There we go. Scatter poop. Oh, you suck. Scatter food. Here we go. Let's see if we can get like another giant trevally or mahi mahi. That would be awesome. Here we go. Even though I would prefer. Now, this will be the last round of fishing for this stream. Um. Okay, come on. Like, all those little taps just really... Oh, cool. Like, they just grade on my nerves. Like, just bite already. Let's make the most of it. There we go. What will you be? Oh! An anchovy. Okay. I forgot they were available. A little wishy-washy. Um. Alright, 
I just get the nook just for the nook miles. Let's see what you are. Come on. But yes, I do enjoy the cooking show. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. wait. Let's go back like twenty minutes. <laughs> let's go back like twenty minutes. The gingerbread house making competition. There was this one dude. He made this really elaborate gingerbread house that had animatronics in it which why do you need a gingerbread house with animatronics in it you know like why and then you know they only have so long and then there's the crisis when the gingerbread that they made at home suddenly like, it gets shipped, and it broke during the shipping, and you can see that they're like, no! Like, some of them bring backup, like, plates so they could reassemble. But it was like, oh my god. And they have, like, these competitions that aren't just Food Network ones. Like, gingerbread house making is this hardcore thing. Ooh. And, like, they make some crazy stuff out of gingerbread. And I'm like, so you don't eat them at all? Like, I thought they were a nice thing to be eaten, but no. Like, they use glue. They're using power tools. They're using all kinds of awesome stuff. Oh, no. It's like bite or don't sometimes, you know? All right. I may do more fishing off stream. I haven't decided. I have like the last couple of episodes of the Dragon Prince to watch. I kind of fell asleep because so my couch is magical. So I may just watch the Dragon Prince. Although I might save that for Saturday morning. Saturday, I, I need to try to bring back Saturday morning cartoons for myself. Oh, it's now seven o'clock. Oh. Oh, I didn't even realize it was go. Okay. But I think that also means whoever is crafting changed. So let's see if we can get another DIY before we're done for the day. We'll do that. Okay, come on. Shh. Here we go. And to see this. Come on. Here we go. Alright. Not a horrible way to end it, but, uh, you know. Leaves a little bit to be desired, but eh, we, we still achieved. We still achieved what we wanted to achieve, and that's, that's what it really comes down to. So what we'll do is we'll check the animals one more time to see if you know, the crafting animal has changed over. We'll check Phoebe first. Um, <laughs> that's gotta be weird for Chip to see. Okay. Pick the name for your angler, angler Sona yet? Angler Sona? What? Why my fish? That is the only reason I'm talking to you. Here you go. Okay. We didn't get the second 100k, but now we're really ready for tomorrow. And that'll be good. I hope red shows up tomorrow, but, you know, I'm not counting on it anymore. Actually, let me just do this real quick. Okay. Just had to turn the sound off for a second. So I could see if I... I thought there was a sound, but whatever. Alright. Let's make our way to Beeb's house. 
see what she if she's still crafting. Oh. What you up to? What are you thinking about? A Roomba costume? Okay, because I'm not sure what a Roomba costume is. Angler Sona, that's just odd. And from essentially a furry. <laughs> yeah! But now, what is this Roomba costume? Oh! That. Okay, hold on a minute. Hmm, well, I mean. Roomba's a kind of dance, yeah. Yeah, it is. Um. I have a place for this. I think. Maybe? No, that's not what I wanted. Where? It somewhat looks okay, right? That doesn't look odd or weird. So Coach isn't in his house. Should I give everyone a garden lantern in front of their house? Okay. Let's see if she's just crafting something new. See you later. Okay, I guess it changes over at 8 o'clock. I was never sure. I was never quite sure. Okay. Alright. So, we will finish up the way I always like to finish up. Oop, it's not here. It's over there. Now, in my town, I can only buy the blue elephant, which, that displeases me. But that's okay. Because someone else had a green elephant. Actually, am I able to order special tools? No, I don't think I can. Uh-oh. I don't know if you guys can hear my belly or not, but it's not very happy with the lunch that I had today. And it's letting me know. Oh, I can't. I can't special order tools. Oh well. Alright. So. What? No pink elephants? Um, the elephant slide does come in a variety of colors. I just haven't had them all. That's why it doesn't show up in the, uh, in the catalog. There's, um, I believe there is a pink elephant watering can. I just have never gotten it. I've only gotten the green elephant for obvious reasons. I got it at my friend Jazzy's town. She lives on the island of One Piece. Because she's jazzy, I guess. I don't know. I don't question. I was originally going to call this island Dragon Scale, but... Oh, no! Let's go get a new watering can. But Dragon Scale took up too many letters. I was very disappointed with that. Because I had been planning on calling it that for like a good month. So I was like, alright, let's go with Moss Stone. Let's go with Moss Stone. There is a pink elephant in this game, as a matter of fact. His name is Paulo. He's a lazy type. Oh, here we go. He's a lazy type villager, and his catchphrase, well, his quote that you would see, like, if you win his uh, portrait, I guess it'll be in this game. 
is that he's not sure if he's imaginary or not. There's also a pink squirrel in this game. Her name is Peanut. She is amazing. Peanut is one of my favorite squirrels. So is Pecan. Hmm. And no, you're not wrong in assuming that all the squirrels are named after nuts. Alright. Now. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I was going to finish watering the flowers here on stream, but I really need to finish stream. <laughs> so, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Make sure to hit those links below to follow me on social media. Make sure to give this video a like on YouTube. If you're on Twitch and you're not following, but you're watching, making make sure you hit that follow button. That helps me out a lot. Um, <laughs> oh no, it's not that I need to get food, it's that um, the garlic and onions that I made to go with my chicken on Sunday, I don't think they're sitting well, so there's that. So, till next time, later taters!